morning. My name is Dustin Wilbanks, executive pastor here at the Cross Loganville. And we have the opportunity to baptize three uh, during this service. Baptism, it is a, uh, an outward picture of an inward change that Jesus has already made in their life. Um, baptism doesn't give you salvation. Baptism is a picture of salvation, that you've already received him. You've asked him, asked him to forgive you. And so baptism is a picture um, of that life change, um, of surrendering. And it's an opportunity for others to be able to see um, that how we can publicly show others uh, through Scripture uh, that we have uh, chose to follow Jesus. So this is Mel, uh, Morgan. Come on in, Morgan Holman. So, sorry. Morgan, um, she came. You can turn around and have a seat right here. So, very good. Morgan started coming uh, to the cross in May. She moved here across country. Um, it's just been a, a, a time in her life where God has really done some different things. Um, you know, she lost her father when she was 15 years old to cancer. And after that happened, she began to really question God. And it began to, like a lot of us during difficult times, she began to get angry at God. And she walked through some difficult stuff in her life. Um, her first child had some medical issues. Um, again, that came up where asking God why, questioning those things, dealing with that anger, struggling through, um, you know, several different situations that she's walked through in her life has led her uh, through some difficult paths. And during those, uh, she would question God, she would get angry. But what's so unique about her story is she shared that every time she would have something like that happen, God would show up in just a miraculous way and do something absolutely incredible in her life. In fact, that's what brought her here to Georgia. As she continued to, uh, to walk down some different roads, she was praying and asking God, lead me in the direction exactly to what you would have me to do. And she moved here in May um, and she has been coming to the cross ever since she moved here. And she said, coming here has just been an opportunity for her to be able to see and experience what that life change is. Um, you know, she has surrendered her life to Jesus. She is asking to forgive her. And, you know, it's been an incredible testimony to see just that journey and that walk that she has had here with us over the last several months. And because of that, Morgan, it is a joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in the newness of life. Tim's got a couple of guys that he's going to baptize now as well. Hey, good morning. Come on, Vic. This is my brother, Vic. And when I tell you that I love this man right here, the life change in him over the last uh, few years has been just phenomenal. I met Vic probably about five years ago. There was a time where he disengaged for a period of time with fellowship, and then Vic started coming back in here with us. And uh, when I tell you, He's a humble man, a guy with incredible work ethic, determination, and drive. And last weekend, he and his girlfriend, uh, Leanne, he proposed to her and got engaged last weekend. So he was engaged last weekend, getting baptized today. But this man carries a lot of influence in many people's lives. And when people look at you, Vic, they see you as a man of just in incredible character. Vic, have you prayed and asked Christ to save you? Yes, sir. Have you repented of your sin, man, and you're pledging to go all in? Yes, sir. You know I love you. You and I text all the time, man, checking on each other. And you've got so much potential of what God wants to do in you. And it is with great joy that I get to baptize you today. Grab your nose, my brother. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good up for Vic. Vic reached out to me this week, and he said, um, hey, man, can my, can my baby brother, Taylor, can he get baptized? And I said, talk to me. And uh, I was talking to Taylor. Taylor is uh, recently surrendered to Christ himself. He's battled addiction, battled things in his life, but God has been gracious enough to pursue his heart, kind enough to uh, free this brother of addiction. And uh, he says, man, if, without Christ, I don't even know where I would be. And uh, I asked him, and I said, what kind of role does Vic play in your life? He goes, man, I've looked up to this dude all my life, man. The model that he is, the role model that he is, 
I'm like, man, what an incredible influence you've had with him. Taylor, have you repented and asked Christ to save you and take over your life? Yes, sir. It is my joy to baptize you, my friend, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Give it up to Taylor.